All right, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see right now, I am installing Cache OS, and I'm doing this uh, as the base um, for the Arch system because I just enjoy Cache, so that's what I normally just test things on. I'm going to be installing the uh, Celestia dot files um, shell. All right, first of all, let's change the resolution here so I can actually see what I'm doing. All right. And so let's launch the installer. I'm just gonna kind of use grub. And we're gonna go next and next and next and i'm gonna erase the entire disc but i'm gonna do this one here erase entire disc next and um let's just go with their base hyperland and install it over top of it next oh cool if i can spit out my name i'm just gonna call this Yeah. And install. All right, so it's finished. So we're gonna go ahead and restart. All right, so we boot it into, we're booting into Hyperland here. And we are in, I can't, or yes. Okay, so super enter is the terminal. I think super W, no, no. We have Firefox, yes we do. All right, so I'm just gonna go to the GitHub here and just blow this up real quick. So it is celestia.files, let's go here, I think it's shell. All right, so here's the dot files, and it says we can install. Oh, so let's go to the main repo instead. And so we should be able to use this example here to go ahead and install them. All right, cool. So it takes me straight here. Let me blow this up so you guys can see it. And uh, it says, welcome to Dots Album Solid. I don't care about backing it up, so we're just gonna have them do it. Pass it again. So this should work on pretty much any Arch-based distro, you know, Arch, Endeavor OS, um, Cache OS, really whatever you want. And it should just install this entire script here. And once it's completed, we can, should be able to see the, um, the desktop. Someone in my Discord actually had mentioned this one, and I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, all of the screenshots and uh, the video that's on there look pretty good. So I thought... I should take a look at it, just see what it's all about, see what all the features and stuff it has, um, and do like just a quick demonstration of uh, installing it. 
and you can kind of see real time um, how long this actually how long this actually takes. I'll probably speed it up just a little bit, but. All right, we want to overwrite the existing. Yes, we do. Override existing, yes we do. All right, so this is the first look of it here. I have to zoom in a little bit because <laughs> it is using my full resolution of my screen, so it's 4K and super small. Um, but it says wallpaper missing, set now. Um, so I don't think I have any wallpapers on here on the system right now, so I can actually just Let's go ahead and download one. Ah, so this is the app launcher here. Um, let me just go to Firefox and let's download a a marble wallpaper. Let's literally just get this marble one. Why not? Save as, we'll put it in pictures, save. All right, so now let's set the wallpaper. Pictures, boom, select, and nice. All right, so that's looking good so far. Let's check this out. This is just our uh, desktops, so it looks like um, super control left and right uh, switches the desktops. I almost feel like it should be up and down <laughs> now that it's uh, on the side over here, but and this just shows your desktop there, and then we have um, some nice animations for the um, internet and enabling Bluetooth. And there's no battery detected because I'm on a desktop and not a laptop. And then we have the power options here. So we have log out, power, a uh, spinning avatar thing. Uh, restart and shut down. I'm not sure what this one is. But that's pretty nice. Oh, that's actually nice. The volume comes up as you hover over on the side there and I see like the app launcher here is pretty nice too um, I believe there's supposed to be like a oh yes so if you just hover your mouse at the top here it has a nice animation um, that comes down with the dashboard um, so under the dashboard you get what you're running cache OS hyperlinked out for 10 minutes looks like you can assign a picture here I love the animations the animations are nice and clean um, it shows what media is playing and then your like RAM and um, CPU usage there. Um, so yeah, this is actually looking pretty nice. And then media, you have your player here if you're playing any media and then performance. Yeah, so I love the animations. This looks really clean and really nice there. So let's actually go into, how do I bring up a uh, super space? All right, so let's bring up a terminal here. Um, I really like that. That's a nice, um, nice style terminal here. So let's see if we can just blow this up. And we're going to just nano into the dot config. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's go back here. And we're going to the Hyperland configuration. So it looks like they have Hyperland configuration. And then I'm assuming there's some sources going into this Hyperland folder and then a scheme and then scripts. Um, so it's pretty, pretty organized, I would say. Um, so if I go into the Hyperland here, this is just your input, your gestures, general grouping uh yeah so very basic um in the actual hyperland configuration folder here but then it's sourcing out everything else so it's sourcing it to the hyperland the hyperland folder here uh, and then it's it's making this 
the bind for it so then it can just do source environment animations decorations um, execs rules keybinds and colors let's check out the default keybinds here so if i go back and then go into the go back to the hyper and then hyperlink folder and then we can go into keybinds um so yeah so they have their shell keybinds this is gonna Super launches the Celestia launcher. That's the left super, so that's this guy right here. Let's see, got some mouse stuff and then store lock, the super control L. Uh, so I actually just wanted to show this hyperlock config. It's actually pretty crazy. I love how the animations bring it all in um, from the side. It actually blurs your the middle here. And then you can uh, type in the password here and you do have the options to it actually shows your notifications too. Yeah, this is actually pretty nice. It shows your media. They have a little bit like functionality while the screen's actually locked versus um, just having it, you know, display the time. Yeah, so I just wanted to show that really quick, but this is actually really nice. And actually the animation that happens when you unlock it is actually pretty cool. Um, you know, when you lock, lock, pretty cool stuff regular media toggles workspaces and then you have your window actions all seems pretty standard um, so it looks like it's using foot as the default option for that and then it's a uh, Zen browser for the default browser codium for default text editor um, that's github desktop and Thunar um, and Nemo. That's interesting. So if I do super E, um, oh, I don't have Thunar installed. <laughs> that would make sense. Um, so I guess this is just based off what they would normally have installed. So you may not have this yet. You either have to change it or install the packages that you do want to be able to run. So if I do super E now, um, there's Thunar. Um, doesn't seem to be like heavily you know themed or anything uh and then nemo let's control alt e probably don't have nemo installed or win alt e sorry uh win alt e nope don't have nemo installed install nemo real quick get that now and then that is e and then nemo yep not too heavily themed either but does look nice. I actually like the, the look of this with the bars on the sides and all the animations and everything. It actually looks looks pretty nice. So yeah, so those are the default uh, keybinds. Uh, looks like the screenshot have its own screenshot tool. So it's bind to print. So I just took a screenshot of the entire screen. Um, I like the notification thing over here where it actually just like pops up in the corner and it keeps the the whole theme going there. Um, that's actually a pretty nice touch. Oh, capture region is super shift alt S. Super shift alt S. Wait, that's not capture region. Oh, that's, wait, what? Capture screen net capture region. S global. That just does a, um, a window. It's not actually like a legit capture region option. Oh, super shift S is, no, it's not. I'm confused. They're both doing the same thing. Anyways, and they have hyper picker for the color. Oh, I'll just super shift in this. Okay, so the color picker is there. Um, so yeah, so that's the uh, key binds there. And then we can go into, let's go into decorations. Um, oh, so that's just showing the rounding and the blur and shadow. Um, pretty basic uh, stuff there. And then let's go into 
the executable. So this is everything that's executing um, at launch. Um, so you just have the GNOME keyring daemon start. Uh, your copy paste store and setting the cursor. Um, I should start using Sway. I was just using the Sway audio um, inhibitor, which is nice to have. Um, so if you like playing a game or playing music, it doesn't actually lock on you automatically. Um, and it is using Hyper Riddle as well. And then this is launching the actual shell. Um, so yeah, this is actually pretty nice. I like how, how simplified it is. It's not a bunch of crazy um, things, but it, I am assuming all these are kind of happening through these scripts over here. So if I go, um, oh, it wasn't in there. It was in here. And so we have a git override script, a monitor config script. I'm not actually sure what that's doing. Um, Yeah, so that's actually uh, pretty interesting. Um, I do I definitely like it. I don't know if I would myself, if I would use this as my, you know, daily uh, driver for um, Hyperland. I do like the, the kind of setup that I have currently right now. This is definitely a really nice one. Um, so if, you know, you're interested in looking at this, here's kind of a quick overview of kind of diving into everything that's in here. If you have any questions about it, um, I'll have it installed for a couple more days here. So you can definitely shoot me a message in the comments and let me know what questions you might have and I can check it out for you and see what the defaults are. Um, but otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.